welcome friend today we are going to uh, look into a very interesting session on postgresql that is on how to encrypt columns or how to give security to data uh, secure data that is uh, we discuss two different aspects one is symmetric key encryption and asymmetric key encryption a symmetric key encryption is actually we are using a password and encrypting all the things okay and asymmetric key is we are using a public key to encrypt and a private key to decrypt these are the two things that we will be discussing so welcome again uh, those who haven't subscribed please subscribe continue to like share comment okay I hope you enjoy the sessions and uh, this is a very crucial thing we will be going forward we will be bringing you something like uh, multi-tenant entries securing authentication authorization lot of things we will be bringing so hope you all enjoy all these things uh, it will be very useful so in your uh, becoming a professional a thorough professional okay so uh, let us start so when in this what we we have we have uh, only one i mean we are using only one extension that is a pg crypto extension so normally all people will have the pg crypto in, in installed if you haven't installed you have to install it using create extension like this create extension if not exist pg crypto extension once this is installed, I mean, if you install this extension, we can go for the other things. So for for this, uh, it is uh, this password that is password based authentication or uh, password based encryption. What we do is we'll actually create a table and uh, a particular column in that will be a byte a field. There we will be storing all this data. So please make sure that what you encrypt should not be a searchable field if it is a searchable field what happens is it will be very i mean uh, the overhead is very big okay so it's always advised that non-searchable fields should be encrypted so here what we the second thing what we do is we drop a table because if it exists we drop it i mean that's what this is just a tutorial right in the other cases we will we'll not do that but in this case we are doing it for example so in from the pg crypto extension what we do is we created a table here see you can see we created a table here then we insert into the cc this is the table name is cc you can see that we insert two data that is the first first column is serial key that we don't have to insert automatically it will insert and uh, increment okay so we insert the customer id and credit card here the customer id given one two three four and we use this particular mother that is pgp sim encrypt to encrypt the credit card data that is one 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 two 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 three this is an example and that, that's why i am giving it like this and in normal cases what happens is all this will be provided by the application or something application server or even uh, the rest server what you are using it will be providing service whatever it is then we use the encryption password this is the password that you are using encryption password you can give anything there it's up to you uh, some some uh, something uh, a complicated password normally what happens is a complicated password so you this is since this is a symmetric key encryption what happens is you have to use the same password next time also see i'm using same password here to decrypt you insert insert we are using same same password to encrypt and decrypt here we are encrypting and inserting all these things insert into cc customer id credit card values pgp sim encrypt this is the data that we want to encrypt encryption password using okay so i hope you don't have any doubt the second also we are inserting yet another row and next what we do is we will be uh, second uh, second row is inserted next what we will do is we will be uh, decrypting all the data for this decrypting what we do is pgp underscore sim underscore decrypt here what we did was pgp underscore sim underscore 
encrypt you are using here we are using pgp underscore sim underscore decrypt okay again uh, in this we are displaying credit card the encrypted data and the decrypted data this is the decrypt this will provide the decrypted data uh, encrypted password is the encryption password is the and uh, okay encryption that is uh, from the customers 1234 and 32345 these are the two customer id so the customers has each customer has different card that's the meaning of that so uh, okay anyhow uh, when we print what we get is the customer has here you can see one 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 two 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 three 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 this is a customer card ready that is correct again as you can see one 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 two 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 three 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 customer and data is correct so encryption is working for a column you can give uh, if you want you can give uh, symmetric encryption say uh, actually as i told you there's two different types of encryption that is symmetric encryption and asymmetric encryption so here again we going forward we have for uh, asymmetric encryption what we need to know is the data directory okay we are giving the data directory here we are finding the data directory here i am not giving it is actually finding we are selecting it from the pg settings table okay we are set, uh, select, select settings from pg pg settings table where name equal to data directory okay so we get the data directory where location of the data directory and inside this we have to create the keys okay for that i am using a command prompt you can see that i have cre already created a keys directory and inside that only i am creating all the necessary things while creating okay this is this is how i have created it you can see here pgp default new key i'll go rsa 4096 but actually this will be asked again if you what what you want you can actually provide full gen key that that is this is this is the option this when we use this option full gen key it will be asking all the details so from this i have selected rsa and rsa this is the encryption and signing technology rsa rsa i have given here selected select selected one here there are different options available dsa is available rsa is available ecc is available like that So you have to give the expiry also i have chosen y y that means it is expires in five years normally you, you will be uh, using one year or something it is up to the organization policy if you are working for a different client that client may have a different a, a different um, policy on that everything that is it is all the encryption or everything is based on policies policies of the organization don't think of policies of postgres or policies of something else it is policies of the organization that will determine which key so which security key you should use and how many years a security key should be there maybe it may be years or months or if you want to give a number of days you can give just number of days you want weeks you want to give n weeks that is 10 weeks you give 10 w 10 months means you are you are you are uh, your key is expiring 10 months five years means your key is expiring in five years and then you will be asked to provide some other, some more detail data that is your person name and email address like that for what purpose you are uh, creating this i said it is for card okay next you will be asked to 
uh, verify i mean uh, verify if it every, all the data provided is okay yeah and this is actually the id of the set of this key this is the key you have to actually save all this data then what we do is we export this particular key as public key and private key while generating the private key they will be asking for the password okay you have to give the passphrase you have to give the same thing twice repeat passphrase should be same as the passphrase itself <coughs> That is that's the only thing you have to note. Once you create all these things, you can save export the public key. Yeah, I'm exporting the public key. You this should be noted minus a p. Uh, this is actually GPG is actually a free tool. You can download it. Minus a is armor it. Minus minus export it. Export the public key. And similarly, here you are having GPG minus a export secret key it is into the private dot key this is the private key and this is the public key so uh, in, in order to export the private key you have to use export secret key and using the same id the same id i am using here and here both sides to generate public and private key okay uh, this is the re redirection operator this is the redirection operator and it may be different in linux and so as in windows Yeah, that's it. And one this I say this is saved inside the uh, key slash public and public dot key and private dot key. That's it. And uh, here again we are going back to PG admin. Inside PG admin, what we do is we, we are actually discussing about the asymmetric keys. So asym inside the asymmetric key encryption, we will be using pgp pub encrypt okay we, since we, we have already armored it we have to dearmor it this is the method dearmor he said this dearmor we are actually reading the file that is pg underscore read underscore file we are reading the keys slash public dot key this is to encrypt it you are we are encrypt using the public key and will be decrypt using the private key as i told you earlier don't forget it since this is a, this may be the first time you are going through all these things that's why i am stressing on that so we insert two records using the public key that is we will be first what we'll do we will be reading the we are reading the file that is pg underscore read underscore file from the public key then what we do we will be dearmoring that using this dearmor method then what we do we will be pgp pub encrypt the particular keys that is a credit card data this is the data credit card data is here we are giving two credit card data using the customer ids 3456 and 4567 these are the two credit card data again what we do is once we actually stored all the data inside a table what we do we will select all this data and decrypt it so that we have to verify all the data is correct so what we do we will be decrypting this is the password that i gave while generating the key okay we are this is the password that i gave while generating the key and all this data uh, and in this also has three different things that is uh, as earlier while decrypting we read the uh, private here you can see that it is a private file okay private dot what is that key then inside the keys folder we are reading from, from the keys folder we are reading private dot key and uh, we are dearmoring it again and again we are using pgp pub decrypt these are the difference pgp here we are using pgp pub encrypt here we are using pgp pub decrypt here we are using pgp public dot key public dot key okay so we are using uh, key slash public dot key here we are using keys dot private dot key that is 
while exporting we are using public key uh, sorry while encrypting we are using public key while decrypting we are using any private key and also the methods we are while uh, encrypting we are using pgp pub encrypt while decrypting we are using pgp pub decrypt these are the three things to uh, note three note two things to note while decrypting and encrypting using the asymmetric keys so <coughs> we are actually verifying all the data as you know 3456 was having 3334445555 okay all this data is encrypted as this like this this is the encrypted data this is the decrypted data okay this is the data stored inside that particular column and when we 44 uh, 4567 is having 4445566 these are the details that i would share we are coming up again with uh, uh, more details on uh, available securities multi tenant systems like that hope you all had a nice time please continue to subscribe like share comment share with your friends this very useful sessions thank you all